How are you getting on, people? Just another night in van life with Jay. I thought I'd show you something, right? <sighs> years ago, well, it wasn't years ago, his, his anniversary of his death's coming up. Oh, the middle of next month. But the last thing my father wrote when he wrote, obviously he... Uh, he, he must have he must have slipped slipped away and come back but he couldn't talk he couldn't talk me he didn't know where he was or nothing but he, he said to me you know he didn't say to me but he wrote I should really rewind I should really turn it around look I think you see it oh let me just flip the camera around if it does it does it do it no it don't well it does say, where am I? And I look a bit squibbly and all that, and it's in backwards. Well, that was the last thing he wrote on a bit of paper. Let me get rid of that nonsense. Oh, it's not doing it. Well, that's the last thing he wrote. The poor bugger. His, hand, his fingers were all black from there. He could barely hold a pen, but he scribbled that down on a bit of paper so i went to my local tattooist mate and we got it trans transferred on the well tra transferred from the paper to my arm this took a long while it's it took about two and a half years for me to look at that now still hard to look at because that's the last thing he wrote but it's a memory of him anyway you know how is everyone this evening hello fabio hello richard hello to all yeah, there's not much doing here. I found a, a new a new bottle of plonk. Well, I like uh, my uh, H and Westerns. That's a strong side. And I found another one called uh, um, Chaplin and Corks. Corks. And that's a Somerset vintage cider. I ain't really show the label. Look at that baby. 8.2. Cracking bit of tackle. Oh, there it goes. Um, don't worry, people. The um, my keys are not on my person. Security guard comes and takes them off me, or I drop them off to him every evening, so I can just have myself. Sorry, I just have myself two beers in my van. I, it's a bit of a grey area. I know. I know people go get themselves in a little camper vans and get out the back and get completely smashed but I, I don't want to take the chance I don't I don't know what the law is about it um, and I think as long as you haven't got the keys on person but how do you do it if you're um, doing van life in a van so um, I'm on a private road anyway so as long as I haven't got my keys on me on person um, I think that's okay and uh, Shoots a big uh, Romanian uh, security guard and his big German shepherd. I don't think they're going to give me the keys. Oh, God, keys back. So, um, yeah, there's not much. No, no, there's not much I'm doing tonight. It's pretty quiet. The uh, the foreign boys over there in them cabins, they've got a barbecue on the go tonight and a few beers. But it's been a grand day today. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm flat out. Tomorrow, um, obviously I'm away for till next Friday, which is a bit of a bummer. Which is not too far away. Um, obviously there's this uh, what do you call it? Postal strike, which is bloody annoying because I'm still waiting for my bank card. I've took the chance it's been lost, so I've applied for another one. If it doesn't turn up, I don't know what's going on. Um, it is disgusting they've gone on strike. You know, it's, 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 it's the bloody post. Some people depend on the post, you know. I feel so sorry for them uh, inmates. Well, I do feel sorry for these inmates, but because letters to them, that's their only real contact with the outside the family their friends you know boyfriends girlfriends you know it's and for them not to get letters it, it, it's going to be hard you know because they ain't going to be able to send letters home 
It's just any anyone can't can't send post. I'm still waiting for parts to come from Germany for the um, uh, Freedom Freedom Merc. Um, oh, people in the offices over here. Windows should get tinted um, this week or next week. That's just because old Red, the old transporter, he's got to go wait to the doctors and have a bit of work done on him. His door's got to be fixed. The diesel night heater's got to be fixed. He's got to have a service. Because um, the way things are at the moment, and the way I'm seeing nature, and the way things are sort of looking a bit fruitful in the berries and the trees and stuff, I think it's going to be a cold one. So it's going to be a cold one, I think. So... I we'll just have to, this needs to be prepped, so main thing I want the black windows for is is for um, a bit of privacy really because it's going to be sort of a stealth camper type thing, it's going to look huh, a big E class you know, and, and the thing is it's not going to look like a bloody camper but that's going to be my camper for the next couple of weeks after, you know, and the beauty thing is, it's like I remember the time when I was, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, I spent one winter, um, obviously working away, I spent one winter for a, about a month sleeping in a, an Audi TT, which uh, a lot of people think, oh, ain't that much room. There is, you know what I mean? You get a seat well back, and you get a seat back, you know, you, you get comfy and a thing. Well, it used to get a bit cold, didn't it, in that, so... <laughs> I used to start the car up for a couple of minutes and uh, hit the heated seats and then uh, obviously hitting the heated seats I was, which I was laying in, oh my god it was heaven, heaven, you know, absolutely heaven, so, um, so it's handy that I can keep warm that way, I'm not interested in hotels accommodation flats and all that crap because most of the time the bosses put you up with people people have got a lot of strange habits you know you see them at work but then you see them out of work and then they get on the drink and they do oh my god the, the noise the rows the carry on you know we had uh, a friend of mine Fabio of course blimey he get excited if we happen to go home and he used to be up all night with his music. Oh, da, 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 da. Got Fabio from Portugal and oh, I'd be going crazy, Fabio. And then in, in the mornings he'd be all hung over, kept everyone up all night with his shouting and carry on. And in the mornings when we're going back, he would uh, go to sleep. <coughs> oh, sorry, COVID. Ten days off, no pay. Fuck that. Oh, sorry about swearing. Beep. Oh, when it comes to Romanians. Oh, he's got a bit of a stagger on him today. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you've had a few beers, mate. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very hard for the children, me working away, because I've been home. And it's alright doing uh, the, the four days and then home on the fifth, but I'm, I'm actually doing the two weeks now. Uh, was it last year, year before? I think it was the year before. I think the longest I was away for was what, six weeks, seven weeks, I think it was. It just takes a while for the children to get used to it again. There's not much on the box tonight. Well, there's only so much of YouTube you can watch. There is some good ones. Um, so I do like the camping with Steve, a uh, Canadian bloke. But he stopped filming for a while because he's um, unfortunately his wife's dying. He's not. He's in a bit of a bad place. There's um, uh, what's his name? Ovens, Bushcraft, Canadian Bushcraft. He's a, he's a good one to watch. He's amazing actually. He's a good one. What that man can do is uh, he's unbelievable. Uh, there's always the fishing. There's always uh, local marks. Fishing with Will, he's a good one. There's uh, Smash Fishing. There's the Fish Locker, another good one. And there's Inglorious Fishing, he's another good one. And there's Troy's, uh, there's Big Dan's, there's, well, there's, there's actually loads of the fishing ones. I like the fishing ones, you know. 
Uh, yeah, I like I like I like quite quite a few stuff I watch on YouTube. Uh, I do love my van life. Yeah, there's a few 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 good ones on there. There's the travelling beans. They call themselves the travelling beans. They go touring out. It's just a bunch of uh, I don't know snobby. I say snobby, very posh, probably well-educated parents went off, and they've, they've gone on their camping adventures. But they must have a they must have a bit of money to start it off. Well, literally, I ain't, I ain't got much money because if I had much money, old Red wouldn't look like, look like a state he's in. But the poor old Red, he's, he's he's seven days a week. Every day of the year, he's he's clocking up. 249,270 something. So he's nearly on quarter of a million. Yeah. Rexy boy, my mate Rex, I told you about Rex, he had his heart attack. Couple of, you know, he's a year younger than me. Um, obviously, because of this COVID nonsense, people couldn't get near him and he couldn't go to the doctors, so the medication they gave him was totally wrong. Could have bloody killed him. Uh, so he's had another heart attack, which is a close dear friend of mine. He seems to he's all he's all right, he's own, but Rex Rex is not one to be sitting about doing nothing, so I just don't want him pushing himself. Right. The nights are drawing in. It's getting colder in the morning, I'll tell you, it's only gonna be a few weeks and I'll tell you what, it'll be a touch of frost. This job's coming on lovely. I had a bit of a moan at the managers today because uh, I ain't been funny. You got these cherry pickers. I don't know if you know these cherry pickers. There's these like this platform. Uh, you get in a little cage. They've got a big engine one in and a big big boom, and it you know it moves you up. You might have seen them doing lamp posts and up high. And you've got people driving plant like dumpers and forklifts underneath the boom, tossing along the blokes. Probably 28, 30 metres in the air, and he only has to knock the thing. You know, one of them drivers only have to knock it, and the poor bloke driver flung out the basket, even though they're tapped in, he's still hanging out the basket. All, all the machine goes over. So I've had a bit of a rant about that. I had loads 28 metres up in the air with my crane thing, and uh, a bloke tried squeezing past me and a dumper. Well, I don't think he understands English, but he, he definitely understood English uh, when I got out of the cab and had a rant. But it's not it's not their fault if they haven't been educated. Um, they haven't been told about the dangers of stuff on site. See where they come from, you don't know. It's 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 they haven't got the health and safety which they've got here. So it's been highlighted and it will be brought up in the meeting. And if it hasn't been um, dealt with, I will deal with it again. I already told uh, a squad of boys today to down tools and get off their scissor lift because they got a scissor lift, they're still going up at some height. But the ground they were on was eight to nine inches of mud. Well, it's all right in getting their pads on, and they just, as soon as they start going up high, the weight increases, and they only have to wobble. That machine would have gone over. So I told the boys to uh, get your asses out of there, don't go in there. I said, because if you go up there, and I've told you what the score is. And something happens to you or your friends, you know, you never live for yourself. Oh, but 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 we gotta get this done. I said, but 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 get off the machine, mate. You know, he said, and their excuse was, Oh, we haven't got any stone to put in there. I said, Well, if you ain't got stone, mate, get your digger in, scrape the mud away until it's down on the heart until you're on the hard, and then carry on. But I've stopped the job. Oh what, what why have you stopped the job? Health and safety, brother. Yeah. Do you want to ruin your morning? Do you want to ruin your coffee? You know, do you want to have loads of paperwork? You went, oh no. I said, well, get it done. But um, a lot of it's common sense. And at the end of the day, we're here to work to make money for our family. Some of us just, some people on site, they just do it for their beer tokens and just mucking around. But we're here to make a living. And we want to get home. You know. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to carry on trying to find um, some sort of jazz to watch on YouTube. Um, like and subscribe and share.
Jay's van life and the old T for the old red. You're a bit cosy tonight, is look. Like. I just uh oh, I just move this about, look. 